Now at five, morning in Miami. A family, teammates, and fans of the Marlins star pitcher, grieving and cheering one last time. Tonight, a community comes together to mourn Jose Fernandez. And the pain of this moment today can be described with two visuals. Jose Fernandez's mom devastated and consoled by the Marlins owner and team manager as she's presented with her son's jersey. Then his grief-stricken teammates and fans surrounding the hearse carrying his body, almost unwilling to leave Marlins Park for the last time. We have CBS 4 News live team coverage fanned out across South Florida. We begin with CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez at St. Brendan Catholic Church where a public viewing just got underway. Elliot. Well, Ruta Bay, the doors of St. Brendan Catholic Church are now open for the public to pay their final respects to Jose Fernandez, an athlete who left a lasting mark on this community. If you zoom past me, you can see people going inside the church. There is a line along 87th Avenue. You see a gentleman there carrying a Cuban flag. There are somber, long faces, a somber mood, and people have heavy hearts as they say goodbye to this 24-year-old athlete who was a star on the baseball diamond, but also a star in this community. Now, the funeral procession arrived here at about 4 o'clock this afternoon and after it made its way through Westchester with a large motorcycle escort and several vehicles carrying the family members of friends of Jose Fernandez, who died Sunday in that tragic boat crash on government cut. And of course, the hearse carrying the casket pulled up here in the park in front of uh, St. Brendan's Church. The pallbearers all wore Miami Marlins jerseys with the number 16, his number and his name, Fernandez, on the back of them. Now, on the way here, the funeral procession stopped at a Southwest Miami-Dade landmark, La Carreta Restaurant on Bird Road and 87th Avenue. They stopped there for a few moments and uh, they continued on to the church. They really were not there very long. Uh, I'm told that one or two people may have gotten out, but they did not spend a lot of time there. La Carreta, which is pretty much an institution here in Southwest Miami-Dade. All of this started early today for the family of Jose Fernandez at a Southwest Miami-Dade funeral home, his mother, his grandmother, his father, heartbroken, uh, losing this young man who escaped uh, Cuba after four tries, the fourth time he was able to reach the United States to realize his dream of playing in the major leagues. And during one of his failed attempts, he was actually jailed in Cuba for trying to leave the country uh, illegally. Fans have been streaming here since earlier this afternoon, and I spoke to one young woman, a Marlins fan from New York. She lives in New York, does not live in South Florida, but she flew down here for this final opportunity to say goodbye to Jose Fernandez. I came from New York. I traveled down from New York. I'm here for the day just for this. That's a long way. Yeah, I took a flight out this morning, and I'm here. Why'd so. you do it? For the love of the game, for the love of Jose Fernandez. He loved everybody. He was, had, had feelings not only for baseball, but for humanity. He, was a, 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 he had a beautiful heart. The way that he approached people and, you know, he was uh, you know, a very happy young person with a great future. And this has affected a lot of people. Yes. It has affected a lot of people. A lot of people are very... Uh, very sad right now as I say goodbye to this young man. Now, the doors of St. Brendan Catholic Church will be open until 11 p.m. tonight, so the public can come here to pay their respects. It's a closed casket inside. We're going to get a look inside. At one point, they're going to allow cameras inside, and we're going to bring that to you. And we will also, uh, we should also tell you that there will be uh, private funeral services tomorrow where members of the Miami Marlins will be there as well. 